so we will now prepare the pachri first so we'll first cook the beetroot okay we will just add the beetroot with some water so you can just stir it and you can cover it what we will do is that we have some green chili not all then we have the grated coconut we have some ginger we have some curry leaf then we have some shallots some cumin and we have some mustard seeds we'll add a little bit of water yeah it can be fine as well perfectly done so while the beetroot is almost cooked so we will add this mixture we have to add now the salt add a little bit of water we'll allow it to cook for 5 more minutes now we'll prepare the tikki so i'm adding the millets so this is some of the ragi flour it will help in the binding i'll first add the uh, yam squeeze it a little bit we'll add some grated coconut we'll add some pomegranate chopped coriander chopped curry leaves jeera that has been roasted ginger roasted peanut powder so now add the salt so now we'll make the tikki or the cutlets so what we have put is the some st star fruit in the base what i've done is that the pachri has been made into a puree and we'll use it for the decoration so this is almost done so we are ready to do the plating so the pachri goes on the top oh yes my final touch of extra virgin